Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Sunday, February the 5th. It's year two, it's week five after Epiphany, and it's week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 34, Genesis chapter 24, verse 50 to 67, and the Song of Mary, Luke 1, verse 46 to 55. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will praise God the Most High at all times. God's praise always on my lips. Alleluia. I will pray, I will bless God the Most High at all times. God's praise always on my lips. In God my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Glorify God the Most High with me. Together let us praise God's holy name. I sought God the Most High and was heard, and from all my terror set free. Look towards God and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. When the poor cry out, God hears them and rescues them from their distress. God's angel is encamped around those who fear God to rescue them. O oh, taste and see that God is good. They are happy who seek refuge in God. Revere God the Most High, you saints. They lack nothing who revere God. Young lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek God lack no blessing. Come, children, and hear me, that I may teach you the fear of God. Which of you long for life and many days to enjoy your prosperity? Then keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn aside from evil and do good. Seek and strive after peace. The eyes of God are toward the just, and God hears their appeal. The face of God rebuffs the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The righteous call for help, and God hears, and rescues them from their distress. God is close to the brokenhearted, and saves those whose spirit is crushed. Many are the trials of the upright, but you will come to their rescue, keeping guard over all their bones. Not one of their bones shall be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked. Those who hate the good are doomed. O oh God, the Most High ransoms the souls of the faithful. None who trust in God shall be condemned. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will bless God, the Most High, at all times. God's praise always on my lips. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Genesis, chapter 24, beginning at verse 50. Then Laban and Bethuel answered, The thing comes from Yahweh. We cannot speak to you any bad, anything bad or good. Look, Rebekah is before you. Take her and go. And let her be the wife of your master's son, as Yahweh has spoken. Then Abraham's servant heard their words. He bowed himself to the ground before Yahweh. And the servants brought out jewelry of silver and gold and garments and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave to her brother and to her mother costly ornaments. Then he and the men who were with him ate and drank, and they spent the night there. And when they rose in the morning, he said, Send me back to my master. Her brother and her mother said, Let the girl remain with us for a while, at least ten days. After that she may go. But he said to them, Do not delay me, since Yahweh has made my journey successful. Let me go, that I may go to my master. They said, We will call the girl and ask her. And they called Rebekah and said to her, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will. 
And so they sent away their sister Rebecca and her nurse, along with Abraham's servant and his men. And they blessed Rebecca and said to her, May you, our sister, become thousands of myriads, and may your offspring gain possession of the gates of their foes. Then Rebecca and her maids rose up, mounted the camels, and followed the man. And thus the servant took Rebecca and went his way. Now Isaac had come from Beer Eah and was settled in the Negev. Isaac went out in the evening to walk in the field, and looking up he saw the camels coming. And Rebecca looked up, and when she saw Isaac, she slipped quickly from the camel and said to the servant, who is the man over there walking in the field to meet us? And the servant said, It is my master. And so she took her veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent. He took Rebekah and she became his wife. And he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving help among all the nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims your greatness, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant, and from this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me, holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You've shown the strength of your arm, you've scattered the proud in their conceit. You've cast down the mighty from their thrones, and you have lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You've come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Bless Yahweh, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.